is one of the best heavyweights in the world, Paris Francis Cyril Gaon. And that infectious smile certainly gets wiped away on fight night, but this is a guy who absolutely enjoys competition as much as any heavyweight on this roster. Figures to have a striking advantage in this matchup and in most matchups in the heavyweight division. Most of these guys, if they have it in their repertoire, are gonna try to take him down. So what has he done? God's gone back to the drawing board. He has spent so much time working on his wrestling and takedown defense that he believes this brawl is gonna show up large here tonight. So here he is, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, Tom Aspinall. He has put UK on the map. And certainly Michael Bisping and Leon Edwards deserve a lot of credit. But now the UK has a heavyweight champion. And he hasn't even arrived at this fighting prime. We heard a lot about the grappling of Tom Aspinall and just how good he was in that realm. His striking is outstanding. He's got the power to go with the speed. He moves as well with the footwork as any heavyweight on the roster. And that's really the big challenge for the opposition here tonight. Power to be sure on the other side, but how are they going to keep up with Tom Aspinall with the lateral movement, the jab, and everything else that he presents and poses on the field? Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here we go early in this round. Cyril Gaon, the former UFC interim heavyweight champion, and most of the heavyweights will tell you he is one of the more difficult big guys to prepare for because he moves like a little guy. And certainly in our fighter meeting with Gaon this week, he talked a lot about being light on his feet, staying on the outside of the power punches of his opponent, and uh, a lot of these heavyweights have had a hard time finding that kill shot against Cyril Gaon. Well, a few heavyweights move as well as the former interim champ, Cyril Gaon, and you see the footwork right away as this fight gets started. Yeah, the footwork leads to the jab. The guy does a great job of moving into you, and then he pops you. And then the moment you start to rush, he drops the big right hand on you. Cyril Gaon is a hard, hard puzzle to score. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, could be the beginning of the end. That looks tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth with submission defense wins this transition. Oh, nice kick. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Take down landing now by Aspen. Change of the position. There it is, now he's on the mountain. Setting up another submission. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, he got to the spot. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Pretty good work with the strike there from bottom position. half guard position here DC you have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. oh man I like 
Havgard as a top fighter. I understand Havgard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hand there. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice right hand. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Unable to land with that punch. An elbow there, nice job by Aspinall. Nice move in the half guard, shades him. Look at him, he's setting up the choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. It looks like he's trying to get this arm triangle. All he's got to do is get to the side and get his chest down to the mat, and he'll get the finish. Oh, looks tight to me. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Gon's pass is denied. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Aspinall gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Big shot to the head. Nice high kick land. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. And there he goes, means another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Lands a solid kick. Right there. Some separation. Right hook to the head block. 15 seconds. Oh man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep oh, this pace oh. over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Next round is underway here, and if you can't stay calm when a fighter is attempting a submission on you, you're going to get finished. I mean, stay you're calm. Done. You're done, John. You're done. If you panic, you're going to present your neck. You're going to give up an arm. you got to really stay patient. You yeah, ask my fighter named John No Panic Man. Oh, my goodness. No, Did actually, you just make that up? It's actually the enemy. You should be a rapper. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Great job by Cyril Gondi. Use his feet to get inside and land the jab. A lot of people are going to be trying to take this guy down, but he moves so well. People talk about Cyril Gondi as if he moves like a welterweight. No, he moves more like a bantamweight. We have always talked about guys moving well at 135. Cyril Gondi moves like one of those guys at heavyweight. The fight for the job is a problem. And not only does he have that beautiful jab, he possesses a ton of power. That can put you up. Aspinall is trying to lock up on a submission now. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, wow, oh! 
great submission defense on full display by the opponent. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Nice defense. Aspinall's in half goals, making all these shots count. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Beautiful ground strikes landed. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Oh. Just over two minutes to go. Lands a big elbow there. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Aspen. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Aspinall is able to flatten him out. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Oh, right in the mouth. He's got to be careful here. in a little more danger. In the half guard. Aspinall's right back to the full mount here. He's setting up a beautiful submission. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. It's tight. It's over. It's over. There it is. Great job recognizing that the triangle is more dangerous than the armbar. Now, he's mounted, but he's not stuck in a very deep submission. Now he's got a good body position. Yup. Cons and half guard. Give the ball here. Twenty seconds left. 15 seconds to go. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Aspinall. Two rounds in the books. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready? You ready? Go Third round underway.
Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, nice elbow. And the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Nice. Nicely done. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. So we'll see if he goes for another takedown here. And it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. It's truly, truly high-level striking fit with unbelievable rest. Don's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Uh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Great kick to the body. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, nice straight punch there by Seattle God. <laughs> Look like that body kick got hurt. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. This is a strong jab there by God. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Another good one. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. Johnny it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. He got him hurt bad here. Gon's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. That was a trouble. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. All right, side control now. Seconds to go. Aspinall's going for an arm here. What a tight arm bar. Arm still not out of arm's way yet. Look at all the pressure on the arm. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. You gotta maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Under a minute now to go in this one. That was nice. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. And how much more can he take? Aspinall's back inside control. Oh, there's some good ground and pound here, and some swelling has now been caused on his opponent. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, he's trying to pin that onto the triangle now. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. So the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it. But, of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. 
All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's home. All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. connects and that bears watching that's gonna hurt this opponent just missed on the front kick there So, and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Gon's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Yep, got to be very careful there. Takes his back. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Espinal. Now it's his mom. Aspinall's trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. Got it very tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Positional control here. Beautiful transition. Under two minutes here to go, round four. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to come. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt. He got him swollen a little bit. And now it's starting to pay dividends. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. aspinall has got his back again. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Wow, he is landing time and time again on that cut. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Aspinall. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And no surprise, the crowd responds in time. The crowd just loves. Our right, referee's going to step in here. That eye is essentially shut. And if the doctor is brought in, and he's walking up those stairs right now, this very well could be the end of the play. It just happened very fast. It looked like it was a little swollen. He did a few more shots, and bam, it just blew up. He's really bad off right now. All right, well, the doctor appears to think he's still good to go. And you know what? If it's good enough for the doctor, it's good enough for me. I'm all in. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so the ref will put the action back underway after that brief health and safety check. And to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision for the action to continue. Absolutely. I mean, 
this official decided you can go. Even though at times the fighter may question whether or not he can do it, we have very smart ringside officials that make a determination, and the determination is get your butt out there and fight. Let's see what happens. And we have a very smart fighter who is going to have to start protecting that injury to prevent it from getting any worse. A straight connection right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Final seconds here. Oh. Aspinall's in half court. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him. Oh. oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and on. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entry, right. rushing to his finishes right. before his right. opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Checks the leg kick. Oh, what a shot to the body. His opponent crippled, but not out yet. He's trying to keep the poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. <laughs> If I don't pay, then why are you begging me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. <laughs> but if I'm betting, I'm trying to take the over. I believe that he's going to get another takedown, so I will try to force you into saying that he does do it again or something. Right, we'll I don't see. know. We'll see. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can twist me up with your words. Aspinall gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Gon's eye is almost swollen shut. It's actually swollen shut at this point in time. That's the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low, and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Well, no denying that it rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. In position for a submission attempt here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Attack an armbar. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Oh, switch kick lands. Watch the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling starting. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Gon's face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Right now they separate. Kick checked effectively there by Aspinall. Oh, solid kick right there.
Trying to establish that jab once again. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Feet on the hips here. Now he's going full mount. Oh, and he's back up again. Planted and fire there. Landed to the body. Jab snaps the head back. Thirty seconds now to go in the fight. going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 50-44, and 50-44. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Thomas All right, so no surprise there as he gets it done on all three judges' scorecards. He kind of was confident if this was just a kickboxing match, but obviously he mixed it up and it paid dividends tonight. It's mixed martial arts, and he showed that 